Alright, so this is, uh, this is uh, the day when I'm supposed to be in um, Seychelles, as a matter of fact, so from Mauritius. So it's our uh, spring break holiday, but here am I cycling, an alternative way of spending the holiday. So we're all locked in, can't leave. So uh, I leave the house at, uh, after doing household chores, and now I'm here. Cheers! Hi everyone, so welcome home. So, of course I'm here home. I think this is the, the longest time that I have been home ever since uh, work is over. So typically the work is over the last week of May and uh, first week of June, boom, I'm out and about somewhere out there in other place, in other part of the world. And today is June 11 and I'm uh, still here, but Anyway, so I'm flying soon, in five days, I'm flying to the Virgin Island. Oh, by the way, so if you're wondering what's that thing hanging right up my ceiling, so actually it's a, it's a deflated plane. You know this inflatable plane? I got it when I was in, a, in I was in France, so I was in a, one of the duty free there, so you know I love flying, so I love planes, so I, I just need to inflate that it's an inflate uh, inflated plane so it's a uh, air france so that's 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 what it's hanging it's been there for a while anyway so as i said i am flying in uh, five days i'm going to virgin islands and i am so over the moon and i'm ready so i got my airline ticket i got my accommodation i got all the information i need so i contacted the tourism the consulate as well they sent me information regarding um, the, the safety uh, COVID protocol. So according to information that I got from them, there is no quarantining. So not unless you are COVID positive, they will not do any PCR or any antigen test or they call it swabbing or whatnot. So they will uh, put all the passengers through a thermal scan. So making certain that you do not have a fever. So fever for them is uh, if you are running a temperature of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, then they will do another check and making sure that your body temperature is, uh, is uh, why you have that kind of temperature. It's uh, maybe because environments and when, when, uh, when, when they did the second check, then they will uh, put you in, uh, I think it's an antigen test or with the swabbing, so to speak. But if you do not have a temperature, you're free to go. Okay, so in my case, uh, in fact, I purchased a thermometer uh, yesterday to make certain that I, my body temperature is always normal. So I know I don't have it, but you know, sometimes you feel a bit warm, you know, so uh, because we're outside, so, my, so I've, been, I've been checking my body temperature. Sorry for being paranoid here. I think this uh, COVID makes us, makes people kind of paranoid. Imagine know the mask that we wear everywhere we go to public places as well as the social distancing so thinking actually I heard someone made a comment uh, on the internet he's a professional he's a medical professional that I think I don't like that comment he said think that everybody next to you has a COVID-19 virus you know kind of like paranoid you know so that's why I know it's it's a protocol that we have to follow but I, I I don't know, so that's not my my thing. So as long as okay, as long as social distancing, I'm not gonna think of the person who, who is infected. I'm just gonna be uh, having this uh, social distance as well as wearing at least uh, face covering. So I think that's a new normal. So anyways, as I said, I am flying in five days to the Virgin Islands, so there's no quarantining, so making certain that you get no fever. And of course, so similar here back home, so you have to have the social distancing or physical distancing as well as 
uh, wearing masks all the time in public places. And guess what? I'm also thinking of going to Antigua and Barbuda. They just opened uh, recently in June 1. And I already connected with, uh, with the tourism as well as the consulate. They also gave me information. But the thing for the yeah, for Antigua and Barbuda, also in the Caribbean, they are two nations, yeah, two big islands in one nation, the Antigua and Barbuda, kind of like the Trinidad and Tobago. And uh, the only thing about this uh, nation is uh, everybody will undergo an antigen test or swabbing aside from thermal scan. So if you tested negative, you're free to go. If you tested positive, then they will quarantine you at your own expense uh, for 14 days. And this is the new normal in traveling this time during this pandemic. So it's been a while since I've been home and it's been a while since we've been locked down. So it started on March, I believe that was March 17. So I've been uh, doing, uh, my work is already, has, has been remotely done, you know. Uh, this is learning with my students and it's over. And, um, and that's why I've been home for quite a while. So, but in my case, uh, I, I have this cabin with her. I, can, I, I cannot stay home all the time. I, I wake up at 6.30 in the morning, you know. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an early riser and then after doing things at home, cleaning, painting, you know, house painting. I'm doing a lot of painting, you know, as a matter of fact, external painting. I am retouching the paint of the home. The house and uh, the fencing, gardening, so around 10, 10.30, I'm out and about outside uh, by the beach and then do, doing my walk and my mountain biking and that's my exercise because of course gyms and pools are closed and by the way, so they said uh, in shape here in, in California, gyms here in California are, in, uh, are, are have a green light from the governor to open by Friday. And it looks like the gym will be opening soon. I don't know how the gym and the pool looks like and all those social distancing. As far as I know, they said you can't go to the gym uh, at your leisure time. You have to have an appointment. And you, only, you can only stay at the gym for two hours only. That's what they said. So anyway, so this uh, COVID-19 global pandemic, I think, I, I think everyone undoubtedly had learned something about it. So this is a global issue that everybody, no matter who we are, okay, or no matter what color of the skin, you know, no matter what status we have in life, no matter who we are, so everyone could be affected. Everyone has learned something. In my case, I've learned something to be more patient and then uh, to be more cautious about the things that we do. And I think, so overall, okay, I hope um, um, the whole, the whole human system will, will change for the better, you know, more a better humanity, so so to speak. And also in my case personally, so I I'm able to catch up with the things that I need to do here at home. So I've been out uh, every now and then. So I I've been traveling for for 11 years. I started traveling in 2009, and today's 2020. And every November, Thanksgiving. December, January during Crimbo or Christmas holiday, April and March, April during spring holiday, as well as um, of course summer holiday, I'm out. So this is the only time that I stay quite a bit longer now, but not anymore because I'm traveling in five days, I said, June, June 16th, flying to the Virgin Islands. Finally, they said, which I think it's true because I've experienced, I, I have, I've been experiencing it. A traveler is always a traveler. It's, it's my, it's my, it's, it's part of my life. It's a, it's a lifestyle, you know. I love traveling. It's because you learn something. In my case, traveling for me is like, it's not, it's not only knowing other people, but as I travel, I, 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 I learn to know who am I, you know. I, I learn to appreciate whatever I have. So I think that's the beauty of traveling, plus the fact that this is an experience um, that will never, never expire as compared to a home. So this, this will deteriorate. Anyway, so I hope everyone is doing well. And I, as I said, I'm here home, so I will be preparing my meals. I've been cooking, I've been baking. 
uh, my meals and getting healthier a smart fact so doing my vegetarian baking vegetarian cooking as a matter of fact i made some videos about that so i'm not i'm not an expert you know disclaimer so i'm not a chef so i'm i've just learned from others okay of course you have this internet you know youtube that we have that's where i got all those meals all right so once again traveling is a part of life you know uh, in my case it's part of my system so uh, and also another thing so one thing that uh, COVID made me realize and made me do it more it's uh, visiting it's a it's, it's, it's a family it's visiting my parents so I've been visiting my parents quite a few times ever since sometimes they will they will actually uh, see me just park right in the garage without even uh, giving them a bus that I'm coming so they live in, in Los Banos about 80 kilometers about an, an hour 45 minutes from here so that's one thing you know you have to you know you, you have more time to your family so actually as a matter of fact so each time I walk, I see my sister, you know, today I saw her a couple of times, you know, she's doing her running and walking as well. So exercising as well, okay, um, by the beach. So that's the beauty about it. All right. So once again, I hope everyone is going to be doing well and be positive. I know it's quite daunting, it's quite difficult. A lot of people have been affected, the economy is affected, other nations have been affected as well even more devastating so my heart belongs to them you know i hope so this global pandemic will eventually subside what i heard uh, from one expert this guy this he's a medical doctor he said that this uh, covid 19 may eventually become an endemic it's something that we just need to deal with this on a regular basis kind of like a seasonal flu and it's part of life okay so, so um i'll see you later guys so I'll prepare my meals and uh, what time is it? I think it's about it's about 6, 6 p.m. The sun is still up. It's summer, you know. Actually, in Alaska, is already uh, midnight sun. So once again, traveling is not arriving to a new destination. It is uh, looking at the world in a different perspective. Keep the smile and the world that is smile at you. Be safe. See you later. See you. Bye. You, my friends for watching the video I hope you learned something I did once again my friends traveling is not arriving to a new destination it is a looking at the world in a different perspective keep that smile and the world will smile at you cheers be safe bye